Hey, party people, it's Miss Saxon. Today we're continuing with our distance learning. This is from Sound and Spelling Practice, week four, day two. This is what the form looks like. Um, I will attach it in Microsoft Teams. Let's get started with our lesson. I already showed you the paper that we were going to do. It's distance learning week four, day two, sound and spelling practice. And I've just drawn up here. Well, don't make fun of Miss Saxon's drawings, but I drew what is right here, up here on the board so that you can see what it looks like. And our words are bath, peach, thumb, dish, chin, and shell. So today our objective is to practice spelling words with consonant diagraphs, CH, SH, and TH. If you remember from our last lesson, a consonant diagraph is made of two consonants that stand for one sound. So for example, if we have two letters, We'll put this little bubble right here. T and H. When we make those sounds, we normally say T and H. But when they are together and they're TH, they have one sound. And that sound is TH, as in thumb. The same thing for CH. Normally it would be K and H. But when they come together as one diagraph, they're ch, ch. What sound does S make? S, as in snake. What sound does H make? H, as in hat. But when they come together, we don't say those individual sounds. We say one sound, and that would be sh, as in shield or like you're shushing somebody to be quiet. So here are our words. We already went over what our words were. And we're gonna write the word under the picture. And when we write the word, we're then gonna sound it out so that we hear all of our sounds. So I'm gonna just erase this little part right here so we don't get confused. Um, if you're in the kindergarten, um, you can, either draw a line from your from your pictures or you can just write the consonant diagraph th if you want or you can just draw a line like that um, for my first grade and second graders you will need to write out the whole word um, well kindergarten you can try as well but if we're differentiating for people who have just different um, abilities it's okay if they either draw the line or if they just write the consonant blend. You know who you are and what your ability um, is and how we have been working in the class. If you have any uh, questions about that, moms or dads, um, you can always text me or email me about what they should put down for um, a completed product. All right, so our first, I'm just gonna erase this. Our first picture here is a thumb, thumb. And here we have thumb here. So we're gonna write thumb right here, thumb. The next picture, my picture is not as good, but the next picture that you had on your paper and I'll just hold the paper up here. The next picture is a peach, peach, p -p peach. So which word starts with a p -p sound? <clears throat> if we look for a p, p sound, it would be this word here, peach. So we're gonna go ahead and write peach, peach. Going straight across, our next one, this actually looks like an upside down hat, but again, if we're going back to our picture that we had here, that is a plate or another name for plate. 
is a dish. Dish. D, d. Where do we see a d? The d. Right here. So we're going to write dish. All right, going on. My shell is kind of wonky, but you know what it is. Okay, so going on with, with our next one is a shell. 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 We remember our sh sound, like be quiet. We'll look up here for it. And actually, let's go ahead and cross off the ones we've already used so we can kind of get them out of the way. We have, we've used thumb, we've used peach, and we've used dish. So we have b bass, ch chin, and sh shell. So that would be our word here, shell. The next picture that there actually is an arrow pointing here because it's a man's face and they're talking about his ch ch chin chin our word here chin and so that means our last word here is bath b bath and I'm going to go ahead and write it up above it just because so that you'll be able to see it in the video. Bath. Bath. So as you can see, the TH, the SH, and the CH can come either at the beginning of the word, as in thumb, or at the end of the word, as in bath. And we see that in peach. And then here it is at the beginning, chin. And then we have the shush sound at the end is dish. And at the beginning is shell. So the last exercise that we're going to do, it's not on the piece of paper, but just as a review, go back and circle your consonant diagraph. So in the first one, thumb, th thumb, peach, would it be the P? No, it would be the ch. Because we're looking for either TH, CH, or SH. Peach. Dish. Dish. Sh. You hear the sh sound at the end. Or you can see it here. SH. Shell. Shell. Where do you see our consonant diagram? We see it here at the beginning. Don't get confused here because there are two consonants here, the LL, as well as here in MB, but those are making other sounds that we're not um, talking about today. So right now we're just talking about these three consonant diagraphs. Chin, chin, ch, ch, bath, bath. So that is what your paper should look like. Again, if you have problems where you're not able to print out the lesson, that's fine. You can write the words down on a piece of paper. You can draw the pictures the way I did. And if you draw the pictures, you can um, <clears throat> just put what the consonant blend is. Uh, you can video yourself saying the words or audio record yourself saying the words. There's so many ways that you can um, turn in some type of evidence that you did the paper without having to worry about why well, I wasn't able to print it. You can just follow this exercise and write the words down so that I know, and then go back and circle what the consonant diagraph is so that I know what it is. If you want to take a picture and then upload that into Microsoft Teams, you can. Um, there's so many ways. Again, if you have any questions or concerns about how you would turn it in, you can always text me uh, directly, send me a chat in Microsoft Teams, leave a comment below this video. It, um, so don't concern yourself too much about um, that it has to be exactly on the piece of paper. Again, for first grade and second grade, you are 
allowed to do this. If you have something in your packet for your grade that you want me to video, let me know and I will put that particular video up. Um, but I am trying to do K1 and 2. So whatever is going to be best for your individual needs, let me know. Okay, well, that's it today for day two of consonant diagraphs. We will have a video for day three, and I will see you in the next one.